Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lania and today I am tweezing my brows at home. To do this, you'll need a spoolie and your favorite brow product, some tweezers and a two-sided mirror, one side that's extra magnified and another that's regular. I lightly filled in my brows the way I want them to look and I'm going to spoolie my hairs into place. Using a magnified mirror, I'm able to see all of the hairs that have grown in the last two weeks. It looks like I'm pulling at nothing, but trust me, the magnified mirror shows all. The top of the brow is just as important as the bottom of the brow. I like to remove all of the hair above until you're kind of into your edges territory. But don't touch the edges. Don't do it. Every now and then, make sure to flip your mirror to the regular side so you can see how your brows are shaping out as a whole on your face. You certainly don't want to over tweeze and this gives you better perspective. Don't forget the middle of your brow, unless unibrows are your thing, no judgement. I should say, the last time I got my brows professionally done and therefore got my shape may have been this past summer. The woman I go to is amazing, but also a bit expensive, so I started doing this at home and it's been working for me. On to the bottom. I like to lightly tug for a bit of tension so I can clearly see the hairs outside of my desired shape. I flip back and forth between my regular mirror and magnified mirror frequently to make sure I am tweezy in the right spots and not creating a thinner brow. I go back in with my brow product with hair like strokes and fill in my brow again just to double check how it'll all come together in the end. Using some concealer for a crisp under eyebrow, I blend until I can't blend anymore. Apply some gel to keep my hairs in place and I am done until I feel like it's time to go again. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next video.